What's up guys? Welcome to Frank's Mania Reviews. Today's video is a 4K review of Silver War. Uh, this is by Alex Garland. Uh, he also has done 28 Days Later, which is a great zombie film. Um, Ex Machina, which I think is one of the best sci-fi films of all time. And Annihilation is a very good sci-fi film as well. Um, and this movie, this is the first movie where... I watched it. Normally, I do a review right after the, my first viewing. Uh, however, this one, I watched it twice um, before doing this review. And th there's just something about it for me that just hit a little too real um, about this film. And and I just wanted to di digest it and re-watch it uh, because... Um, you know, you follow these photojournalists, which is um, Kristen Dunst and uh, just, uh, Wagner uh, Mora, uh, Mora uh, and then Kaylee uh, Spiani. Um, you know, she plays this young girl. And uh, yeah, uh, Stephen McKinley Henderson is very good in this film. Uh, there's Nick Offerman and uh, and yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, Kristen's husband is also in here too, Jesse. Plinkman, I can't remember. I apologize, uh, but he, he, you know, he's in the trailers uh, for this film. So, um, yeah, that's a, just an intense scene in general. However, uh, yeah, you see the civil war that's happening here in the states um, through the experience and uh, viewpoint of uh, photojournalists which, of course, is part of the actors uh, that I just mentioned. And they, her, uh, Kristen Dunst, um, and, uh, dang it, and then uh, Wagner, uh, their characters want to interview uh, the President of the United States, uh, uh, which is Nick uh, Offerman, and uh, but of course, uh, there's just a resistance between uh, the United States of America versus the Western Front, which is at least what they said on here, uh, California, Texas, and I, th I think Colorado as well. Um, they they mentioned Colorado um, trying to um, assassinate uh, the president, but they were unsuccessful. However. Uh, again, this story is so, t I think it's a very good movie. Again, I watched it twice. Um, yeah, uh, this is a movie that, uh, my wife kind of just explained it pretty well. At least I, I think she did is that this is a movie. Uh, this is what happens if democracy, uh, just fails. And, you know, I completely agree um, it doesn't explain exactly what happened, why there is a civil war. We just know that there is a civil war. And Kristen Dunst, uh, there's a great story arc for her character. I mean, just how experienced she is um, and the relationship between her and this girl and Wagner, you know, how, <laughs> um, he is, 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 is a great character as well. And, uh, Henderson, oh gosh, uh, Stephen McKinley Henderson. He is very good in this film as well. Um, there are some great, uh, scenes in this movie, the, the journey that they take, um, that is very, very tense. I think it's pretty um, f uh, funny, but and you know it would be realistic how um, you know the currency would just plummet, and because in here the Canadian currency is far superior than you know the dollar, which again which would make sense, um, and th again the, the path that these journalists take to interview the president, at least try to. Um, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, you get just different tense scenes, um, and and it, one of them is they go through uh, a, a town that's like just like nothing has ever happened, and it, and one of them it said is like a twilight zone, um, and so yeah, I 
I personally really enjoyed this film. Um, I, in some ways, I really like how they don't explain what happened. It, it just happened. There is no good guy. There is no bad guy. It's just what it is. A civil war. And I personally, I liked that. At first, I thought, it, you know, what the hell? Why aren't they kind of explaining it? But second viewing, I liked how it went that route. Um, because again, this is um, a story based off the, the photojournalist. And, and so I highly recommend this movie. This movie pretty much hit too real, um, at least for me. Um, especially, you know, with the recent uh, events of a couple years ago, um, and 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 I don't personally want to go too much into you know politics and the religion, all of that stuff. I want to just keep it movie uh, horror based, um, but uh, you know, I do have to say that this movie. Uh, hit a little too real uh, in some perspectives um, for I as an American, uh, a U.S. American. And so, yeah, I, I highly recommend this movie. It is very, very good. And for me, I don't understand how there can be, you know, some negative reviews about it. I mean, everyone has a different opinion. And that's what makes movies great uh, is that, you know, it's all... It's all depends on you, your own feelings. Um, it's all subjective, of course. But I like this film a lot. Um, what I loved is the audio design. So this movie is in Dolby Atmos. Uh, it's in Dolby Vision. This movie looks really good. It just came out a couple months ago. Very high, great detail. Um, close-ups, all the typical stuff you would see from a new movie. Um, so no complaints with that, with the transfer. I do have to talk about what the audio design. This is some of the best sounding uh, gun design I have seen in a film, I heard in the film, experience in a film since Heat. I, I really... I was not expecting it. Um, I'm my my boy John from Let's Talk Entertainment. Um, I saw his movie review for it uh, when he saw it in the theater. He talked about it, but jeez, man, he is not lying. This audio design is so good. Oh my goodness, it is, it it is, it is powerful. Uh, it is. The, it is booming. Um, you feel the the, the gunfire that you hear, like just a great immersive um, directional gunpoint uh, when they're when they're in that first um, action uh, sequence of the gunfire when the the people uh, from America are trying to get the Western Front. Um, uh, uh, I don't, they're not even malicious. They're just from the Western front. Um, they, uh, th that, that is just a popping scene, man. I, I highly recommend you guys turn up the volume on this movie. Helicopters. So the planes, uh, uh there's some great height channels. Um, the, the subtle, um, nature sounds, uh, in this film that to me, this is one of the best audio movies, Dolby Atmos movies for this year. I highly recommend getting this movie just for the audio itself. Again, this movie is a fantastic movie. I highly recommend it based on that alone. But with the audio design, holy smokes, man. So damn good. I loved it. Um, so I felt I was very immersed in the, in the movie. Um, because the story was pretty, it was a gripping, uh, impactful story to me. And then add on the audio experience. Holy smokes, man. This is a great movie. 
Um, this is one of my favorite um, movies that I have experienced uh, this year. So uh, that is, and then also uh, special features. Um, there is a six part documentary that's on the 4K. It lasts an hour long. Uh, the six parts are basically the, the story um, throughout the movie, you know, uh, broken up into six parts. I highly recommend it. It's very good. Uh, it goes, uh, it's all, you know, with the directors, with the actors, um, and uh, the special effects, um, you know, team, and just all everyone who just was part of the movie. Um, it, it is a great special features. Um, I highly recommend also watching it all in once. Um, again, it's 56 minutes long, I want to say, but watch it all in once, man. Um, find the time because it was just a good special feature. Highly recommend it. Uh, guys, this is, this is a very good release. Uh, again, this is done by A24 and I, I think this is one of my favorite A24 films, um, which is shocking to me because, you know, A24, they're, they have a lot of horror, uh, movies, but this was a, I had a very good time with this movie and obviously it impacted me, uh, more so than other movies. Cause I had to watch it twice before doing a dang video review. <laughs> um, so that is my 4k review for civil war. Uh, thank you guys for checking out the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, thank you to my tier members, John from Let's Talk Entertainment and William Driver for being part of the Collector's tier and Insomniac for being part of the Completionist tier. Uh, check out the uh, link to my tier memberships down in the description section and have a good one, guys.